Investigators are getting some unusual help from CU Boulder scientists who use plants to help solve murders and rapes. And Denver 7's Kyle Horan is with me now. Kyle, it's called Forensic Botany, and these professors, they're now sharing their knowledge. Interesting stuff. Yeah, it sure is. It's information that have helped prosecutors actually put multiple violent criminals behind bars. <laughs> and now there's a book about it so everyone can see it. It sounds like something straight from a murder mystery. This is actually garbanzo bean. Looking at plants and how they can connect a suspect to a crime. And simply break it up a bit. David Norris has been doing this for many years. We do uh, two different things. Uh, one is we examine stomach contents um, to determine what the last meal uh, consisted of that that person ate. Uh, secondly, we all can also look at fecal material, and we've used that to connect suspects to a particular crime scene, uh, particularly homicide, rape homicide cases. Studying plants, Norris can take a look through the microscope and identify whole plant ecosystems and where they live. That data can connect the boots of a suspect to a certain elevation or field where a crime was committed. This process of studying plants has already led to convictions. Uh, a rape occurring in Left Hand Canyon. Uh, we were able to show that the vehicle had driven into the same field uh, where the victim uh, knew she had been attacked. Norris and his partner Jane Bach wrote a book about their unique investigation techniques. Sometimes the evidence Norris and Bach collect even gets suspects to confess. Kyle Horan, Denver 7.